Mega goal number two, unit two, wishful thinking, pages 20 and 21. Now let's take a look at the objectives. Number one, listen and discuss. Number two, read and give the meaning of the new words. And number three, discuss the lesson. راح نسمع عشان نناقش برضو راح نقرأ ونعطي المعنى الصحيح للكلمات الجديدة وبرضو راح نناقش الدرس. So unit number two is called wishful thinking. Please move on to pages 20 and 21. Wishful thinking, pages 20 and 21. Before we start, let's take a look at the vocabulary. Desert island means Jazeera Sahrawiya. Keep in touch. Whole year round. Split. Close encounter. Prize. And philanthropist. Now move on to pages number 20 and 21 and get ready to listen. But before we start listening and discussing, there are a couple of questions that I'd like to discuss with you. Now, have you ever wanted to be taller or shorter? هل سبق وأن أردتم أن مثلا تصبحون أطول أو أقصر مما أنتم عليه؟ Have you ever wanted to have more money? هل سبق وأن تمنيت أن يكون لديك مال أكثر؟ have you ever wanted to be talented at something? هل سبق وأن أردت أن تكون موهوب في شيء ما؟ Now you are asked to read the text below and find sentences that say exactly what each person wishes for. So right now we have here a text. مطلوب منكم منكم تقرؤونا وبعدها to find out أنكم تجدون ما الذي يتمناه كل من هذه الأشخاص من هؤلاء الأشخاص So get ready and please don't forget to underline what each person wishes for what people are saying Now get ready to listen and follow up with us Unit 2 Wishful Thinking Pages 20 and 21 1. Listen and discuss. What people are saying. Wishes vary from person to person. Find out how some of our readers answered the following questions. If you could only take one thing with you to a desert island, what would you take? I would take my cell phone. I'd be able to keep in touch with my family and friends around the world, and I wouldn't get lonely. If you could be a historical figure, which would you be? I'd like to be Omar bin Abdulaziz, a Muslim caliph. I would create one of the greatest empires with no poverty the world has ever known. If you had a close encounter with an extraterrestrial, what question would you ask? I'd ask if I could travel with the E.T., I would like to find out about life in the universe. If you could choose a place to live, which city or country would you choose? If I could choose a place to live, I'd go to Hawaii. The weather is great the whole year round, and the surfing is fabulous. If you could change your looks, what changes would you make? Actually, I'm quite happy the way I am. I wouldn't make any changes. If you could travel through time, would you go to the past or to the future? I would go to the future to see what new technologies people will be using. I okay. wish I could. So let's just start stop here and let's discuss what you have listened to so far. So wishes vary from person to person. تختلف الأمنيات من شخص إلى آخر. Find out how some of our readers answered the following questions. Okay, so here uh, the first question: If you could only take one thing with you to a desert island, what would you take? 
إذا مثلا ممكن تأخذ شيء واحد إلى جزيرة صحراوية ما الذي تأخذه معك؟ So here Saeed answered this question and he said I would take my cell phone I'd be able to keep in touch with my family and friends around the world and I wouldn't get lonely. فسعيد اختار أن يأخذ مع هاتفه الخليوي أو هاتفه المحمول ويبقى اتصال يبقى على اتصال يبقى على اتصال طبعا مع عائلته وأصدقائه على حول العالم وبذلك لن يصبح وحيدا. Now the next question is asked to Ahmed who is 17 years old and if you could be a historical figure what would you be? السؤال كان إذا أنت مثلا تكون من الأشخاص اللي في التاريخ أو المعروفين في التاريخ من تختار أنك تكون؟ Okay so he's saying that I'd like to be Omar bin Abdul Aziz a Muslim caliph I would create one of the greatest empires with no poverty that world has ever known. Okay, طبعا اختار انه يكون مين؟ اختار انه يكون uh, طبعا الخليفة عمر بن عبد العزيز وبعد ذكر انه هو uh, راح يبني امبراطورية اسلامية uh, الامبراطورية الاسلامية ما راح تكون فيها يعني فقر نهائيا uh, فبتكون يعني أعظم إمبراطورية في العالم بدون فقر. Okay. Now let's move on to the next question, which is asked to Bob, who is 16. If you had a close encounter with an extraterrestrial, what question would you ask? Okay. إذا سبق مثلاً ويعني إذا حصلت لك الفرصة إنك تلتقي بلقاء وثيق مع an extraterrestrial يعني شخص من خارج كوكب الأرض ما الذي ما السؤال اللي راح تسأله؟ So Bob is saying I'd ask if I could travel with the ET I would like to find out about life in the universe. طبعا هو ممكن يسأله إذا ممكن إنه هو يسافر مع ال ET ال extraterrestrial اللي هو مثلا من خارج كوكب الأرض and also he's saying that he wants to find more about life in the universe يبغى يعرف أكثر عن العالم طبعا عن الحياة في الكون okay now the next question is asked to Steve who is 15 if you could choose a place to live which city or country would you choose إذا ممكن تختار مكان ممكن إنك تعيش فيه ما المدينة أو الدولة اللي تختار إنك تعيش فيها So here he's saying If I could choose a place to live I'd go to Hawaii The weather is great the whole year round and surfing is fabulous So here He's saying إنه يختار إنه يعيش في جزيرة هاواي تعرفونها طبعا هواي اللي هي في أمريكا أو تتبع للولايات المتحدة الأمريكية الجو هناك رائع طبعا وعلى مدار السنة وبرضو ركوب الأمواج هناك جدا رائع Now the next question If you could change your look or if you could change your looks what changes would you make? إذا بإمكانك طبعا أنك تغير من شكلك إيش التغييرات اللي ممكن تحدثها على شكلك Actually I'm quite happy the way I am I wouldn't make any changes هنا يقول حميد أنه he's very happy هو سعيد جدا بمظهره وما راح يغير أي شيء Now the last question If you could travel through time Would you go to the past or to the future? I would go to the future to see what new technologies people will be using. إذا سمح لك مثلا أنك تسافر عبر الزمن هل تختار السفر للماضي أم للمستقبل؟ طبعا هنا يجاوب أنه أختار أني أذهب إلى المستقبل عشان أعرف الناس التكنولوجيا اللي راح تستخدمها الناس ما كيف راح تكون أو ما التكنولوجيا الجديدة اللي راح يستخدمونها الناس. So imagine that you were asked 
one of these questions how would you reply or how would you answer these questions اذا مثلا احد سالك احد من هذه الاسئله كيف راح يكون جوابكم او ردكم على هذه الاسئله now let's move on to the next thing and let's listen to it and discuss it afterwards the most common wish i wish i could win a prize Please listen and then later on we will discuss it in details. So get ready to listen to the most common wish. I could win a big prize. The King Faisal International Prize is awarded to individuals whose achievements benefit mankind across the globe. Sheikh Suleiman Al Raji, a world leading philanthropist, was awarded the 2012 prize for service to Islam, while Professor Adnan bin Muhammad Al-Wazan won the prize for Islamic studies. Professor Richard Berkowitz and James Bruce Bussell won the prize for medicine. The cash prize of 750,000 Saudi rial, $200,000, was split between them. Professor Ali Hilmi Ahmad Musa and Dr. Nabil Ali Muhammad from Egypt shared the Arabic Language and Literature Prize, and Professor Alexander Varshavsky won the Science Prize. Laureates also receive a gold medallion and a handwritten certificate. Okay, so we have heard right now the most common wish, أكثر أمنية شائعة وهي I wish I could win a big prize. أتمنى لو أحصل على جائزة كبيرة. So the King Faisal International Prize is awarded to individuals whose achievements benefit my main mankind across the globe. Sheikh Suleiman Araji, a world-leading philanthropist, was awarded the 2012 prize for service to Islam while Professor Adnan bin Muhammad Al-Wazan won the prize for Islamic studies. طبعا أكثر أمنية شائعة يعني بالاعتقادنا أو بالاعتقاد مثل ما مكتوب عندكم في النص أنه أتمنى لو حصلت على جائزة كبيرة. طبعا معروفة جائزة الملك فيصل العالمية تعطى للأفراد اللي خدموا الإنسانية حول العالم. الشيخ سليمان الراجحي رجل أعمال خيري وكذلك رائد في مجال الأعلى الأعمال فاز بالجائزة عام 2012 لخدماته للإسلام برضو بروفيسور عدنان بن محمد الوزان كذلك فاز بالجائزة للدراسات الإسلامية بروفيسور ريتشارد Perkowitz were James and James Bruce Puzzle won the prize for medicine. The cash prize of 750,000 750, Saudi Rials, $2,000, $200,000 was split between them. Okay, uh, طبعا, uh, Richard Perkowitz and James Russell uh, Puzzle فازوا للجائزة في الطب الكاش برايز تقريبا يعني موش تقريبا هي 750,000 ساودي ريال 750,000 ريال سعودي around 200,000 دولار يعني 200,000 دولار طبعا تم اقتسامها بينهم okay, split between them Professor Ali Helmi Ahmed Musa and Dr. Nabil Ali Muhammad from Egypt shared the Arabic language and literature prize. Professor Ali Helmi Ahmed Musa and Dr. Nabil Muhammad من, uh, من, from Egypt, من مصر, uh, تشاركوا الجائزة uh, للدراسات في اللغة العربية وكذلك الأدب. Now, a professor, Alexander Varshvasky, won the science prize. Laureates also received a gold medal medallion and a handwritten certificate. Ale Alexander Varshvasky, Fazfi al-Jaiza bi-majal al-Ulum, 
طبعا الفائزون يعني كذلك يحصلون على الكاش وبرضو جولد ميداليان اللي هي مثل ما نقول ميدالية من ذهب وكذلك هاند ريتنج سيرتيفيكت اللي هي الشهادة مكتوبة بخط اليد اوكي ناو رايت ناو ليتس موف اون تو ذا نيكست ثينج ويتش از كويك تشيك فيكابلري يو ار اسك رايت ناو تو ماتش تو فورم نيو ووردز اور اكسبريشن سو اي هاف اوريدي انسرد ذس ان ادفانس ليتس تيك ا لوك ات ذيم فيري كويكلي ديزرت از وي سيد بريفيسلي ديزرت ايلاند كيب يو كيب ان تاتش كلوز ان كاونتر هول يو راوند and split the price now as for the comprehension you are supposed to answer if the statements are true or false Saeed would take his cell phone to a desert island true Steve would like to be a Roman emperor false Bob would ask an extraterrestrial about life on other planets true true if Ahmad could live in any place in the world he'd live in Hawaii true and if Hamid could he would change the way he looks this is false he was happy he said that he's happy the way he is Leonard would like to find out about future technologies this is true so right now we have reached the end of the lesson I hope that you have enjoyed it Don't forget to subscribe and share the video with your friends. Till next time, have a good one.